Hey my beautiful Torians, welcome back to my channel, my name is Kim Enchantress, I'm here to do your uh, potential love reading, there is no time associated with this reading, it's just whenever you come to the channel for the guidance, it's when you're meant to hear the messages. Now I'm using the Lenormand cards as the basis of the reading and um, I'm using the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. I'm using the Archangel and Gemstone deck by um, uh, Margaret Ann Limbo. I'm also using an Animal Tarot card, it's um, uh, our card come, that was by Doreen Virtue and Redley Valentine. And I'm using um, Wisdom of Hidden Realms, and it's by Colette Baron Reed as a potential for the relationship. So let's see how we go here, Taurus. Now the first card I've got for you is uh, the tower. So this is telling me that uh, in a relationship that you're feeling very lonely. Maybe there was a separation 12 months ago because under the deck, I'll just pop that here, I have the mice. This is about stress and worries. Uh, definitely to do with a couple or a relationship and maybe it was a risky relationship. Maybe uh, one of the the, uh, the partner gambled or took risks and it caused a lot of stress in the relationship. Now, with the um, the tower here, it's not the same as in tarot. It's definitely um, just you protecting yourself here, Taurus. Maybe you're protecting your heart, your emotions, and <clears throat> you're having that alone time just to reflect to see how you can move forward. Now, um, it does signify one year, so this is possibly something that happened a year ago and you're still hurting. You're still feeling um, the problems from this relationship emotionally and uh, you're unable to move forward. Now, this is someone who is uh, very tall, intelligent and proud. Maybe a little bit thin, but they're very ambitious and uh, this could be you here Taurus it's definitely you now from the romance angel cards we have the passion card so definitely um, things are going to start happening for you with the the card here and uh, definitely um, I feel like you've been manifesting you've been manifesting for someone to come in your life um, and, you, and your prayers have been answered so the first step is you asking for this person this is about manifestation and you having the power to put some passion back in your life now um, the only person that can do this is you with the help of God of course and anything that uh, stirs your heart you'll be joyous and uh, you want to move forward into your love life here so I'm going to just pop that at the back here so we're on a good move here Taurus now the second card is definitely what your partner or potential partner feels about you and this is the bear so uh, this person may want to mother you protect you They've got a lot of strength and courage and fortitude. This person's not scared to go after what they want. And um, now there possibly could be a Cancerian or a Gemini. Those two star signs are coming up in the reading. So take it in your situation here. Um, I do feel this is a person that um, is your true love here. It's going to be a romance of a lifetime for you. You've been lonely for over 12 months here, Taurus, and you've done your reflection, you've done your emotional healing. It's time for you to move forward and have that passion in your life, and it's true love. So definitely true love is coming through here. Now, this person definitely is very um, nurturing for you. Now, we have um, <clears throat> that, uh, potential for the relationship. I do feel emotionally... You will be protected by this person. And I feel this person is very creative too. So I feel like there's still things to be revealed here. 
but uh, you you will be recognised for um, being emotionally um, ready for this romance, here, Taurus. Now we've got the Sisters of the Edge card here from the Wisdom of Hidden Realms, and as I said, something's still hidden with the Moon. So this is about um, you going through the cycles of growth and the divine order <clears throat> so when the sisters of the seasons meet you on your path they're going to remind you that every natural rhythm obeys a higher law so with the the tower here it does have a law connotation attached to it it has its uh, boundaries and restrictions so this may have something to do with that but um it's just telling you to keep on your path and be determined to uh, be with this person. You know, allow for the natural course of events to unfold naturally. And um, the divine is definitely um, putting appropriate timing in this. So maybe this is somebody you haven't met yet because you've got the moon there, still things to be revealed. Now, um, it's a, a good time to start new things here. So possibly some of you have moved out of the winter into uh, the beginning of spring, depending on what side of the uh, planet you're on. But you need to be patient here. Just um, know there is um, the rhythms of your opportunities that are coming. And there will be periods of time when things slow down and begin anew. So maybe... Uh, listen to music or if you play music play an instrument be creative in some way uh, maybe you're creative with your hands that type of thing this is going to um, help you on your future endeavor to find this love now they are there and it is true love waiting for you now you just have to be mindful which one of these uh, four sisters is going to um, greet you and she's going to point out your next move here and just remember, every moment counts in this card. Now we'll go on to, let's see. Um, we'll go on to the advice card here. And this is about going with the flow. So it is, Sisters of the Seasons card was telling you to be patient. Maybe go with the flow, but you do have abundance coming. Um, maybe this is you uh, creating your own business um, you're being creative and money's going to start coming in for you too so I'll just pop that card here and uh, maybe this is a Gemini person that you're meeting they're a business type of person for some of you <coughs> excuse me now we have the Cobra Jasper and it's telling you because you've been so isolated in the last 12 months that you need to get outdoors and reconnect with nature this is going to ground you more you need to put your hands in the earth you need to hug a tree you need to walk barefoot um, this is going to give you the, all the nutrients that you need from the um, the soil you need to get out there with the animals play with the animals and al allow the earth beneath your feet and the Sun above your head to nurture you and realign you so you know things might move slowly but they are going to happen now there is an affirmation from Archangel Thuriel that nature nurtures you. So animals and other creatures bring you messages that guide you in your life. So your connection with Mother Earth provides vital energy for you. You are focused and grounded, Taurus. So that's a, a beautiful message that's coming through. So it's more grounding to take place for you. Now we'll go on to the outcome card. And definitely it's telling me that you need to get outdoors here with the garden. This is probably where you're going to meet your future partner here, Taurus. And it could be where like-minded people go. Now, you could be going to a concert, socialising with friends at a club, a nightclub. Um, maybe just going for coffee or you bump into them in nature, that type of thing. So it's where you least expect it. Now, we also have the Six of Winter. And uh, this is a rescue cat, mixed breed. The challenging times are definitely coming to an end. So that's a good message for you, Taurus, to end on for your outcome. You need to let go of that past and embrace the happier times that are ahead for you. And um, 
this is a winter card. So this is for somebody out there that's just uh, coming out of the winter times. Now, maybe um, Mrs. Card is leading you up to um, a challenging time, but or you've had a challenging time back in winter, and now you can breathe that sigh of relief. Things are going to start moving forward. You're not trapped anymore here with the, the cage, and the doors are open. So it's time to make these new plans. Don't get caught up in um, what has happened along the way. Put that in the past. It's just uh, time for you to embrace happier times ahead. Maybe some of you are going travelling here. Um, maybe um, on a tour group and this is where you meet. Maybe some of you are doing a charity. If you're in Australia, probably for the bushfires. Um, and, you know... Um, that's where you may, but I do feel that this person's going to nurture you, they're protective of you emotionally, and they're very creative too, so maybe you can make some money together here. So I hope you like your reading, Taurus. I will be back with some more readings in 2020. Looking forward to reading for you. Bye for now.